Hey guys, guess what? There's an amazingly important meeting coming up that will decide the future of our planet. It's the UN Climate Summit and it's a two week conference held in Paris from November the 30th till December the 11th. It's this whole big party where global leaders come together to work out a solution to climate change. But we have climate summits all the time. But this one is really important. It will produce the first new global climate agreement in 18 years. Another climate agreement. Here we go again. That's worked so well before, like Rio de Janeiro in 1992. Where everyone made an agreement to stabilize greenhouse gas levels. Only they didn't agree on what those levels actually were. And like Kyoto in 1997. Where everyone reconvened and decided it would be the industrialized countries who would cut their greenhouse gas levels. But then the US didn't ratify the treaty. Then neither did Australia. And then Copenhagen in 2009, which was like, a total shit show. And let's not forget 2014 in Lima, where everyone agreed, let's just each country make our own rules. They were called Intended Nationally Determined Contributions, or INDCs. Anyway, so with Paris, the aim is to reach an agreement with these INDCs. Hold everyone accountable and to keep us on track to meet our required temperature threshold. The goal is to keep the average global temperature from rising by 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial temperatures by the end of the century. And the Paris Agreement will achieve that? Not quite, but if the countries commit to these INDCs, we'll only get to 3 degrees of warming. Which is still not good enough to stop cataclysmic climate change. But it's better than the current estimate if we do nothing, which is 4 degrees. Still not stopping cataclysmic climate change. Here is a graph. This line here, that's where we're headed if we don't change what we're doing. This will lead to climate catastrophe. This line here is where we need to get if we want to stop climate catastrophe. This line here, this is the best, most possible hope for the climate talks in Paris. Notice that it's higher than this line here. So essentially... So if we go anywhere over the two degrees, scientists predict we'll see a huge decrease in crop yields, water and food insecurity, ice shelves collapsing, and low-lying nations like the Maldives, the Caribbean, the Pacific Islands, they'll all be underwater. So what can we do? Well, to reach anything short of climate catastrophe, it's going to take substantial and aggressive economic, technological, institutional and behavioural change. And as scientists, we need to get busy developing technological solutions, because even the best outcome from the Paris Climate Summit isn't enough to keep our planet inhabitable. So how do we make sure that happens? Well, the first thing you can do is use your voice to encourage political leaders to stop stalling and get to a climate agreement. We've got links in the description, handles that you can tweet to, and even some pre-written tweets that you can copy and paste. Here's one we prepared earlier. And the second thing you can do is use your voice again to push for more investment into basic science and research. It's only with science and technology that we're going to be able to get our way out of this problem that we've made for ourselves. Again, Twitter handles are in the description as well as some pre-written tweets. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.